I'm gonna start off by saying that this character, Jeepers Creepers, really deserves a new movie. His last movie or his latest movie was made in 2003. That was like 13 years ago. And I think he really deserves a new movie. I think he deserves a big comeback in theaters. And I really want, for this new movie that's supposedly coming out in 2017, I want a badass storyline and a badass origin story. I want the director to focus on his origin story. You know what I'm saying? I want the best of the best writers to write the script. I don't want no BS. I, I want a 10 out of 10 movie. You know what I'm talking about? There's been rumors that this new movie with Jeepers Creepers is going to be called Jeepers Creepers Cathedral, which in my opinion sounds pretty cool because that means um, that technically we are going back to his origins but you see I don't know how they're gonna approach this maybe they might ruin it I don't know but I think it's gonna be pretty cool for the people that don't know Jeepers Creepers is this uh, badass character that looks like the Undertaker from WWE uh, he flies and he also eats people not all the way but he eats a piece of them that he later on uses to replenish uh, a specific body part that he has like he could uh, eat someone's head and then he can grow back a new head if he gets damaged or something like that the last three pictures are showing uh, the, the art um, that supposedly is gonna be Jupiter Creepers 3 uh, this is the second one and this is the third one as you can see the crows are making the number three right there in the picture The second character that I think deserves a new movie is by far Leatherface uh, Leatherface's last movie was I believe in 2013 He came back as the changes text saw massacre whatever uh, So I think he deserves a new movie and it's been like three years, um, 2016, so maybe I expect a new movie in 2017, spring 2017 to be exact, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to make one. Hopefully next year is going to be the year of Leatherface. It's no secret that Leatherface is one of the main icons of the horror genre. He deserves a new movie um, in 2017, but if... Nah, I hopefully, you know, it's going to be in 2018. I believe that he is going to have a movie pretty soon, though. Let's just hope the director doesn't suck. And, yeah, that's what I think. This is a picture of his earlier film, The Texas Chainsaw, from 2013. A character that definitely deserves a new movie or a reboot to his movie is The Clown It. This character was brought into the movie industry by Stephen King in the early 1990s and some people may remember him, some people may not, but I think they, he definitely deserves a movie so people could tune into the future to watch him in theaters. There been rumors that the actor named Will Poulter will be doing uh, the part of It in the 2017 version or slash reboot and this is a picture of him right now in the costume and I think it looks pretty cool now the fourth character that obviously deserves a uh, another standalone film is definitely Freddy Krueger now I know guys this guy already has been like nine movies but I definitely think that maybe um, holiday season 2016 or possibly 2017 could be the big break or the big comeback for uh, uh, Freddy Krueger on the big screen since the last movie was made in 2010 which makes it like six years ago uh, so that's why I definitely think that he definitely deserves one for maybe these couple of years coming up everybody's favorite demonic doll needs a new movie I think I speak for everybody that loves uh, Chucky uh, everybody that's uh, a Chucky fan really wants to see a new Chucky movie I think his last one was the Curse of Chucky like back in 2010 I think or 11 I, I don't remember but he definitely deserves one for 2016 or possibly 2017 what do you guys think I just hope that they write a good story and the plots are good and the casting is good 
Now this sixth character's name is Hatchet. Uh, this guy, he is brutal, man. He kills people like with his bare hands. He like I, I don't even know. I don't even want to mention it, but he's just disgusting. He's a disgusting freak. I don't even know if they show these kind of movies like in the theaters, but uh, so basically he's like a hillbilly and he like he's like the power of Jason where he can't die or something. Apparently his dad died uh, and he went um, ballistic and started killing everybody with uh, this hatchet that uh, I think used to be on his farm. I'm not sure about that part, but this guy he's like he's also deformed. Uh, and yeah. However, I do still believe that he deserves a movie at least for 2017 or 18 because he's a really good horror character. I'm gonna move on to some of the characters, uh, some of the horror characters that are actually girls. And let's start off by mentioning one of the old time favorites, and that is Bloody Mary. Uh, okay, Bloody Mary is a badass, I guess. And I, I think I never seen an actually a good movie that actually represented her story. Um, I think the 2006 version was alright, but I think we need a new one. We need a reboot, man, because she deserves a good movie. Now, one of Hollywood's most prized possessions is The Grudge, oh and God. there is no doubt that this character needs a new movie. Uh, the, her last movie was The Grudge 3, and it was freaking awesome. I think there should be the grudge for maybe for this year, late uh, holiday season, or maybe early 2017. But uh, I don't know. The the directors should start casting some people because she deserves a good movie. There should be a, a badass script on the way. Uh, I want the best of the best on this movie because most people like like her like um she's a very good act uh she's a good, very good uh horror character now if we're gonna talk about horror and we're gonna about talk about scary and terror we gotta mention the king the beast the conqueror and that is jason Voorhees. his last movie uh was in 2010 and it's been like six years already I hope that next year we see at least a teaser or a trailer for a 2017 version or 2018 version of Friday the 13th. Maybe it could be called Friday the 13th to Jason's uh, Revenge or something like that. I don't even know. I'm just making up names right now. But they, they should make a movie. They should, uh, If they're actually doing a movie right now, they, sh we sh they should uh, at least give us a teaser. They're already making the game for this uh, character, so I expect a movie really soon. Since we are talking about icons of the scary movies, let's talk about the icon, and that is Scream. His last movie was Scream 4, and it, w it was in 2011. And that's five years ago. I think they should start making, uh, they should start production for a movie for Scream 5 or I don't know just reboot it or something because we need one we crave one we demand one right now if we're talking about legends we have to mention mention the top dog of horror and that is Michael Myers um, I don't even remember the last Michael Myers movie we had but I think that if we are talking about these kind of characters and with these kind of names we should mention Michael Myers in the conversation because he is a badass character I'm mean, everybody knows him he was even in Call of Duty Ghost for crying out loud come on start a movie right now well that is it ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 horror characters that deserve a movie at least for 2016 or maybe uh, for 2017 uh, hopefully not 2018 because I'll be too far, but hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out Keep it frosty